So this question looks like it's going to be a simplified question. I know that because of the inequality provided here and the fact that it's only um, that it's a short question, that it's a little over one line long. Simplified questions are typically between one and three lines long. So what I like to do is as soon as I recognize that it's simplified, I'm going to take what I've been given that can be simplified and I'm going to simplify it. Notice that I'm doing this without actually reading what the question is asking for. And again, this is just from habit and it, it always works out. So here we're going to divide by three. So what I'm finding here is that P is greater than or equal to one. So that's my simplification there. So it says if three P minus two is greater than or equal to one, what is the least possible value of three P plus two? Well, if I'm looking for the smallest value that 3p plus 2 can be, and I know that p must be greater than or equal to 1, then I would want the smallest number that p itself can be. So if p is greater than or equal to 1, that means it could be 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth, right, out into infinity. But the smallest number p can actually equal is 1. So I'm going to use that number when I plug in. So I'm going to say that P, its smallest value, is positive 1. And therefore, the smallest value of 3P plus 2 would be 5. So my answer must be choice A. And if you don't trust that, you can say, well, what would happen if I chose 2 instead? Right? It's because P could equal 2. When I put 2 in here, 3 times 2 plus 2, I get 8. Notice that all of the other options on here are smaller than five, but as I go up in p values, my solution here gets larger, right? Three times three plus two is even larger than three times two plus two. So I know with certainty that five is the best answer.